Hey guys, these are the five trends on insurance in Asia I saw at this year's InsurTech inside in the beautiful city of Hong Kong. There were great panels and keynotes, super interesting to listen to. I had the privilege to host one panel with Neil Gardner from Generali and Arthur Lee from One Degree and one fireside chat with David Chu from Clover International. So super exciting about that. The rest of the conference in a super nice location with a view on the skyline, view on the sea, nice food, nice coffee. Super important for me because I spent more time in the plane than actually on the ground in Hong Kong. By the way, check out my TikTok videos about my trip there. They went a little viral with several hundred thousand views. Don't miss out on that. The one thing beside the keynotes and panels was of course the networking at the scene. Super interesting and the five trends I'm going to present you in a minute comes out of a lot of talks I had behind the scenes on the ground in Hong Kong. Trend number one. In a lot of behind the scenes talks, people shared their view that the region consists out of different markets with a different level of maturity. You have a quite fairly mature market as Hong Kong and Singapore. On the other hand, you have super growing markets like China, Malaysia and the Philippines. A little bit like in Europe, where you have the western part and the eastern part due to historical reasons with different levels of penetrations and different levels of growth in the insurance industry. One thing everybody agreed on, doesn't matter if you are a mature market in Asia or if you are a growing market in Asia, one thing they say unites them all, it's the speed of development and the willingness to take advantage of the changes in society that we see around the world. Number two, a lot shared the view that you see a super large spread between the tech giants guy like Zhong An and Ping An, the leading the way, and um, smaller and more regional insurers that don't do so much. Well, I personally have a little bit the feeling that ecosystems around the world always say that their ecosystem is most far behind and has the biggest threat and the oldest uh, insurance companies and those companies that don't do so much and are laggards. I personally believe that conferences, you most get the impression of you know the leading ones and you don't see the horror <laughs> that's under the hood of a lot of insurers. So what I think in a lot of cases, ecosystems are you know, being overcritical for their own incumbents and you know are seeing the more positive side of the other. So I'm not sure if that's the case in Asia. That was one topic discussed here, the spread between the fast moving, taking advantage insurers and those that I don't do so much. Trend number three. So one thing we surely saw is a lot of Western InsurTech and service provider present at InsurTech Insights in Asia. Why? Because expanding their business to that region, looking for pilots, looking for clients. Shh, we too, but don't tell anybody. So what that means is that slowly but surely the different ecosystems are growing through the neighboring regions and now bumping into each other. And that's what I see as the third big lesson, that we slowly see a conversion of large ecosystems bumping into each other. And I will think we will see consolidation and also you know, cross ecosystem M&A at some point. Trend number four. What I also saw at Asia Tech Insights in Asia is the big, large Asian sex stories like Jong An are going also into the SaaS or insurance as a service model. Jong An, for example, offers their core insurance system, but also their machine learning algorithms um, as a white label solution uh, for core systems for other insurers around the world. I think that's a super exciting uh, movement. And I'm curious which Western insurance are going to take advantage of that. Number five, I personally have the feeling that the international insurance and insurtech community is growing more and more together. You are seeing um, similar people at the events who help you behind the scenes, who are super friendly and um, who is fun with to have dinner with and to exchange ideas. And with that, there comes trust 
and out of this trust and positive atmosphere, um, there come out of opportunity for everybody to move the whole industry forward. So I think that's the beauty of the current InsurTech and insurance community that's growing together. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see something coming out of that. To sum it up, it was an awesome organized conference. Congratulations to Christopher and Adani and the whole team. Then we saw the trend of leading and laggards insurance companies. Then we see InsurTech and service providers expanding to Asia and bumping into each other. And regional giants also moving into the software as a service and insurance as a service business model. And last but not least, a great and awesome community.